In late April 1951, a Chinese army marched six abreast towards a narrow point in the Kapyong Valley in Korea. There stood hundreds of Australians, Canadians and New Zealanders facing 10,000 Chinese intent on taking the capital city of Seoul. We were up against a real tough, clever enemy and so many of them, so many of them. Had they broken through at Cap Yong, it would have been a bloody disaster. And then that could have turned the whole course of the war. This is the story of the Battle of Cap Yong, a forgotten battle in a forgotten war. Just before Anzac Day, 1951, Australian soldiers arrive in a secluded valley after 10 months of heavy action. They are part of a United Nations force sent at the urging of the Americans to push back the communist North Koreans after their invasion of the cemetery. They do, though, have mortars. and they have the numbers to mount a series of relentless attacks over the next six hours. The Australians hold, despite being low on ammunition, food and water. The Canadians, in a more heavily armed and steeper position, watch on. We could see the Australians down in the valley, down on the hills, and the hills weren't that big. It wasn't like ours. And they got a, quite a shellacking. It's always been my opinion that the Brigadier gave the Patricias uh, that high defensible position and put the Australians in that lower, uh, less defensible position on the belief that the Australian troops were much more seasoned than, than we on. were. When the dawn arrives, the Chinese have withdrawn and D Company still controls their area of Hill 677. We're now virtually out of ammunition. I have often wondered if the Chinese commanders ever found out how close they came to destroying us. The slaughter is something I never want to see or experience again. At the time you do it, you're so glad you're alive and you're surviving. But the slaughter of the enemy was just unimaginable. It, it, it looked like a slaughterhouse. Sometimes it still gives me nightmares. That's how the enemy gets back at you when you have your nightmares. They're always worse than the actual battle. The Battle of Kapyong is over. On Anzac Day 1951, the Canadians bring down their dead. The Commonwealth Brigade has halted the might of the Chinese army and stopped them from streaming south and retaking.